Hey everyone, Stephanie Drosh here from Brain Psyche Strategies. Welcome, and today I want to talk about the types of stories that you need to be using based on your funding startup stage. So we all know the different stages of a startup fund. If you don't know, we've got the bootstrapping, lean, pre-seed, seed, series A through D. Now each one of these funding stages offers a very different and unique path to acquiring the investment that you need to fund your startup and idea. Now there is no right or wrong way to do your funding in that every business has their own unique path in order to get funded. That being said, we believe at Brand Psyche Strategies that story is the key to getting more money faster. So by developing a really authentic, compelling, and captivating brand story, you're able to better express what it is you're in business for, who you stand with, and what eventually you're selling and why people should buy from you. So we've used story in a couple different ways in our company. One of that is through pitch decks. So we've built pitch decks out for some of our clients, overlapping the brand story process in that pitch deck with the purpose, obviously, of get in getting more investment funds. We've also used it from the customer acquisition side. So if you need more customers, if you need to prove your strategy or your patent or your um, structure or software, then we can do that through a brand story to help you get more customers to do that very thing. Now, here's the thing. Each stage of a startup's funding needs to align with a particular brand story. So for example, in your pre-seed lean seed stage, when you're really um, utilizing all the resources you have in your toolbox and you don't have a lot of investors yet, you want to focus on your origin, mission, and value stories. Those are the three most important stories that you could be talking about in any conversation you have, whether it's with a potential customer, client, or investor. Now, if you're moving into your series A, at this stage, you're gonna need more than investors. You're gonna need a robust amount of customers. So at this stage, we want you to really focus on the founder's story. So again, we're still gonna be talking about the mission, the values, um, and we're still gonna be talking about the origin, but at the same time, we wanna be bringing you more into the picture now, especially on the funding side. So people wanna know why you, what made you come up with this idea, and why are you capable of executing it? Finally, as we move in to some of the higher level series rounds, we wanna focus on a different variety of stories. So at this point, you've probably acquired some funds, um, you have some customers, you're able to hire, which is a, a huge milestone, you're building an in-house team. At this point, we wanna start telling stories that align with your community, the people in your organization, so employee stories or customer stories even. We also wanna maybe focus on the rags to riches story or a quest story. So really sharing how your product or service provides or brings the customer on a quest or the quest that you've been on for your brand. Um, finally, and this isn't always the case for most businesses, but you might need a rebirth story. So if you crashed and burned, if you came back from the ashes, if you were a phoenix rising, then a rebirth story is a phenomenal story to have in your toolkit when you're in the series B, C, or even D stages of your funding. I hope this was helpful today. Definitely leave a comment and let me know what stories are you using in your startup and what stories could you start to use to acquire more customers and attract more investors. Until next time, see you later.